Are humans OP? Let's find out. This episode was sponsored by Skillshare. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why Human the beings. Buttocks? Are they as overpowered as the game's community would lead you to believe? Short answer, yeah. Facts. They're the most meta-defining build of all time, and the undisputed top build in the current expansion. But believe it or not, this wasn't always the case. Humans used to get body left and right on a daily basis by other players. Imagine being around And it dinosaurs. took a pretty long time before the player base learned how to actually make use of the human build's unique abilities. The story of the human's rise to dominance is a really interesting one. And so today, we're going to do an in-depth look at the human's abilities, their strengths, and their weaknesses. Because yes, they do have weaknesses. We'll also go over notable matchups, and finally look at the steps human players took in order to reach their dominant status. First, their unique abilities. I touched on this topic in my video about primates, but I'll recap here and also go into more detail. First off the bat, we have their ability to throw things. Other builds can throw things, but humans can do so harder, faster, and further than anyone else. Wow. The reason for this is their body structure. Bipedal builds are tough to balance, both in the game development sense and the center Aww. of mass sense. Throwing an item with any real force behind it requires serious balance, achieved only by having shorter arms and longer legs. This is why humans can launch projectiles at deadly speeds, whereas other primates kind of just lob things without putting much effort into it. If they tried to, they would knock themselves over. Aww. Even if chimpanzees could figure out how to craft a spear, there's no way they could throw it hard enough to deal any significant damage. Next, their stamina regeneration. Humans can chase down anything. If you try to run from a human, you might outspeed them initially, but you'll run out of stamina much sooner than they will, and they'll catch up to you while you're in your weakened state. This is partially because of their superior balance again, but most- No, that's very interesting, because a human being able to run longer than an animal is kind of, wow, thinking to me. Because when a lion or a cheetah be able to run longer, like when they have more strength to do that? I don't know, that seems, I don't know, I feel like a human would get tired faster. Mostly, it's because of the human build's unique choice to not spec into fur. This gives them access to the extremely broken ability Sweat. Every other current build that's decent at distance running recharges stamina by using the move Pant. Mm. This works great, but it does require the user to stop running. Sweat, on the other hand, works better while moving, massively extending the distance a human player can run. They've got a few other important abilities that are essential to their kit, but aren't unique to humans. Their ability to speak is unique among mammals, but some birds can pull it off too. In humans, the ability to speak allows them to use one of their signature moves, Teach, which drastically boosts skill point gain, mitigating the main penalty a player receives upon getting a game over. Hmm. Humans and birds also share another unique trait, which is being able to stand upright. Standing upright is extremely useful for dealing with stealth builds that might normally be using tall grass to hide. Tool use also might be thought of as a human-exclusive move, and it certainly is the most effective in humans, but it turns out a pretty wide array of other builds can also do it. Birds, primates, cephalopods, and even fish can use tools on occasion. But sweating and throwing? Uniquely human. Now onto their weaknesses. And yes, it's true that currently most human players can subvert these with their crafting skill. But it's important to recognize that without equipment, the human build isn't necessarily unstoppable. The decision oh to goodness. not have fur granted humans a massive buff to mobility at the cost of stealth. In the mammal faction, fur is a prerequisite to all the major stealth abilities like camouflage. And lack of stealth abilities means getting in close on their targets is a serious challenge. Oh my god! The human build's lack of- Mans did not just sneak up on a tiger. What in the world is he got going on? <laughs> Tarzan or something? And lack of stealth abilities means getting in close on their targets is a serious challenge. The human build's lack of fur also means they have very low defense, mm. both from physical attacks and from environmental effects. Bare skin offers almost zero armor, to the point where even players from lower weight classes have no trouble dealing damage to humans. Mm. And bare skin also takes quite a bit of damage from the sun, too. Humans are also pretty limited when it comes to the power stat. Physically, they're the weakest of the great apes, and don't really have any good options for dealing damage. They lack the classic high damage bite attack that nearly every other non-herbivorous build relies on, instead having to resort to blunt attacks like punch and kick, which we all know aren't very effective against builds that have thick fur or skin. Thanks. The last major weakness I can see is that they're pretty bad at dealing with stealth. The lack of night vision means darkness can really hamper their ability to locate targets, and their lack of a strong sense of smell means camouflage is especially useful against them. Okay, now let's talk- Yeah, because I, I feel like- like animals like they they have all this stuff down packed which is kind of wild to to think that humans are the the 
top rank because like animals have so much advantage when you really think about it. Talk about matchups. Obviously a key feature of the human build is being able to craft equipment. Given basic equipment like low level armor and hunting gear, the human's best matchup is going to be medium large mammals. Mm. Unlike blunt damage, piercing damage is quite effective versus builds with thick hide, but on defense they're actually pretty awful. A human's only option on defense against a large mammal is intimidation, unless they've got some crazy high level equipment, but I'll make a video on power creep later. The classic human equipment cannot stop a charging tank main unless the intimidate attempt works. At but all. overall, this matchup is one of the reasons humans became top tier. Hardly any builds have favorable matchups against tanks. But that's not to say humans don't have their counters though. As I said before, stealth can be really effective against them due to their lack of a keen sense of smell and night vision. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> imagine you camping and you just see this. What are you doing this moment? <laughs> My soul would leave my body. Humans have the ability to win pretty much any fight as long as they've got time to prepare. But taken by surprise, humans have a lot fewer options. Another thing humans mm. have trouble dealing with is flight. Even when a human has a ranged weapon, players with high aerial mobility are pretty safe during flight. Facts. Now as far as I know, there aren't any bird builds powerful enough to one-shot humans. Which is important because blunt attacks like punches are actually quite effective against birds. Birds have hollow bones that are resistant to tension and torsion, but not compression. This is the opposite of mammal bones, which are resistant to compression and tension, but not torsion. The point is, birds aren't the best choice against humans. But, but see, anything that flies is really like OP because a human coming across a, a freaking bee, they gonna freaking lose their mind. <laughs> like, imagine if a bee had the mind of a human, like it would be over with. <laughs> but flight has been unlocked by four different classes in the game. Birds, which we just discussed aren't a good choice. Bats, which do even less damage than birds. Reptiles, which unfortunately had their aerial builds banned in patch 1.3.1. And insects. Flying eusocial insects oh. have by far the best matchup versus humans in the entire game. Humans have zero counterplay against a swarm of stinging insects. Facts. I mean, sure, there are special items that they can you. use to combat swarms if they're prepared. But the amount of human mains who've chosen that as one of their prestige abilities is pretty small. Humans' lack of fur means they have no innate defense against stings. Stings also have the chance to proc the Amphylaxis debuff, which can actually lead to a game over. And it's for this reason that the high score for human eliminations belongs to the Africanized honeybee, known better by its community given name, the killer bee. And even if the stings don't proc the allergic reaction effect, they will still definitely achieve their primary goal of dropping their resolve to zero and granting you control over the territory. And we can see that lately the viability of killer bees has only been growing now that they've expanded their territory outside of Africa. Which brings me to my main- See, I, I think bees put fear in everybody. I don't care who it is. You can be the strongest man in the world. You see a bee, you gonna flinch. <laughs> Point. Are humans overpowered? Well, just like the Africanized honeybee, humans really only became OP once they escaped the African server and invaded other areas. Notice how humans took down megafauna across every terrestrial server except Africa. The African Dang. tank mains have the matchup experience oh. and counterplay options to deal with the vast array of skills humans elephant. have access to. But the rest of the community was totally unprepared to deal with the rapid invasion of new human mains invading their competitive scene. In other words, the devs could have prevented the massive destabilization of the current meta if they'd region locked humans. Staying competitive in the meta- Not region lock humans, that's wild when you really think about it. <laughs> Holy. ...of new human mains invading their competitive scene. In other words, the devs could have prevented the massive destabilization of the current meta if they'd region locked humans. That's crazy. Staying competitive in the meta requires a good player constantly be leveling up their skills. There's no better example of this than the rapid rise to dominance that humans experienced. If you'd like to level up your own skills and unlock new ones, I highly recommend Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 20,000 classes in design, business, technology, and more. Premium membership gives Imagine you unlimited access to high-quality courses on must-know topics, so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. I especially love their course on motion graphics, which is taught by the folks behind In a Nutshell. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer that's just for my subscribers. You can try Skillshare for free for two months by using the link in the description, or go to skl.sh slash tierzoo3. Act now for the special offer and start learning today. 
And special thanks to my patrons on Patreon. If you'd like to Yo, see more- Shout out to Tier Zoo for making these videos, man. They're always very educational. You learn a lot more every time you watch these. But stay tuned for more. Let me know if you want to watch any other older Tier Zoo videos. Let me know the names. And we out. Deuces.